Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is in here. Beautiful building behind me. The amazing news today, which has really made my day, is that some COVID restrictions are changing here in China and soon we might be able to start to travel and hopefully at least maybe leave the city. Yippee! However, <laughs> the process of opening up so far is a little bit confusing. The testing requirements are a really big bit frustrating and it's leading to situations like this. Yesterday I was looking back across some video from the last time that I was out of the city. I was actually in Tianjin. From Tianjin back to Beijing, we actually booked the bullet train. Not just the normal bullet train, we actually booked the highest class that you can book to travel on in a bullet train here in China. We booked business class. During the trip, I actually shot some video and then I realised when I was checking it last night that I forgot to share with you, the audience. So let me share my experience of travelling on business class on a bullet train in China and then you can compare this to the service that you get in your own country. And trust me, you will be surprised at how good the trains are here in China. But first, let me explain. We went to Tianjin, which is the, the next city south of Beijing and on that day we visited a, a Russian aircraft carrier theme park. Yep, you heard that right, a Russian aircraft carrier theme park. I did make a video and you can see that up there and um, there's a link up there to take you to that video. It was a pretty odd experience for me, a peace loving guy, peace. After the theme park we then decided to head out to see the famous library in Binhai which is a stunning and a really unusual place to see. We did stop on the journey to the library to grab hot pot and then that ended up making us almost miss the library because when we got there it was just closing. We managed to get inside and then they were turning the lights off. Shot the video sharing it with you right now. On the journey home, we took the train from one of Tianjin's regional stations and that was a stunning station and simply beautiful to see. And then we um, jumped onto the bullet train, which was absolutely on time, as always. Rather than me talking and sharing it with you, let me just share the video with you of us coming back to Beijing in business class with a couple of beers. Got to add that bit in. So a little bit different, as you can see, from the first class. Business class is a little bit more swanky, a little bit more expensive. I wouldn't normally travel using business class, but for today, because I want to share it with you, have a little look at business class. Ha <laughs> ha! So you know the dentist. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to fall asleep on a train, but if I was going on a long journey, I think it would come in useful. It does go out about 
sex, sex, food, sex food, food, so it's very comfortable. So, hey, I'm gonna get you. Dulling the carriage for the queen. <laughs> Wet to <-o. laughs> Fantastic. Snacks. Uh huh. And I got a coffee. Okay. Late at night. Probably best not to drink a coffee, uh -huh. but I need the energy boost because we still need to get from Beijing, Beijing south to home. It's like a jelly thing. It's like a sweet jelly thing. Mmm. It's okay. It tastes of tea. It's like tea. I thought it was going to be sweet, but it's tea. Mmm. It's okay. I'm also going to try this little thing. I've, I've tasted it before, I think. It's um, like a um, fake custard cake. It has, <laughs> it has cream inside. Probably not that good for you. It's nice though. Good with my hot burning glass of coffee. Which is actually quite nice. Mm. Enjoy. Hey <laughs> hey! Thank you for watching this video and I am so looking forward to sharing more trips from Asia with you in the future once things really open up and I can start to travel again. Meanwhile, this is me, Ian, here in Beijing bidding you a peaceful day and as always, peace out, be safe.